Hey babes, welcome back to another video. Sorry if I'm talking really really fast. I'm really nervous because I have a thing that I need that I want to that I need to be at. I, I'm 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 gonna stumble on my words a lot. I'm just telling you right now at 7 10 p.m. and it is currently 6 21 and this is a 35 minute video. So yeah, I'm kind of nervous, <laughs> but let's just go with this. So hi. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If this is a welcome to my channel, I'm sorry. <laughs> so today I am making, I am making, I am building an apartment because it is Tuesday, and on Tuesdays I do stuff. Sure, why not? And today I'm doing something a little bit different. I had this idea um, when looking at this apartment. This is a um, a what? It's it's one of the cheaper apartments. I think you can get it with starting funds. It, um, it's like the biggest one. I don't r remember where it is, but yeah, it doesn't matter because I still haven't figured out how to put apartments on the gallery anyway. So that's beside the point. So I had this idea when I was looking at this apartment and I was all like, okay, what am I going to do with this? How am I going to room it? And then I was all like, okay, what if I do something that's similar to like, what if I do like a lot of like, Something that's similar to a dorm situation. And then I was like, okay, that's interesting, but then why am I not doing that in the university world? And then I thought, like, what if I make, like, a house? That it, It's, like, a house for, like, teens. And so I made this a house for, like, a... It's called... I, I'm calling it a house for abandoned teens. But it, it's really for, like, teens who, like, got kicked out of their house... Now, I have absolutely no idea if a place like this exists whatsoever. I did not look it up. This is not based off of anything I've actually seen. I I, I, used, I was all like, what if what if it existed? So I made it. And yeah, and I want to do one in every world. So far, I have two. You're seeing this one, and I have another one, which I did in Windenburg. But I want to do one for every world. This one's not going to be on the gallery. The other one is going to be on the gallery. And each of them are going to be for between eight, six and eight sims. This one has... Six sims? Hold up, I'm counting. Uh, I'm dumb. I have notes on my phone for all of the people I created for it, because I did create people for it. I'm going to do that for all of them. This one doesn't really matter, but for all the other ones that will be on the gallery, like, it's so you can play with it if you really want. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven in this, but there are six rooms. Uh, that will be explained in a minute. So, uh, right now I'm just going to talk about, since, like I said, there are more of them, I'm just going to give you a general overview of what, like, this whole fake organization that I have created with my head does. And if, if, this, if any of this stuff seems unrealistic, that's because I didn't take realism into account. This is The Sims, uh, you can build a rocket ship in your backyard, like... And marry a vampire. Like, what do you want from me? Okay. <laughs> so, the basic setup of these abandoned teen houses is that teens that were kicked out of their house, uh, they, uh, between the ages of 14 and, uh, 19 is, or no, 20, 21 is when you can no longer be, like, in the apartment. That's when they're gonna be all like, okay, you gotta leave now. You have three days. Goodbye. Or, you know, like, that kind of thing. Not necessarily like that, but, like, you have to leave by 21. By age 21. But you can... So, the youngest is... You can be is 14, and the oldest you can be is 21. But there is one a person who can be older than 21. They, I call them, like, a house manager. They're basically someone... You sh in some of the houses, there are people that were in it and then decided to, like, run the house. Some of them were just hired... So they're basically like older, slightly older ones that like run the house. They uh, work for like the people that make these houses and they keep track of everything and stuff like that. So yeah. And then, so that's, yeah. So the teens, they, uh, they live here. They each have their own room. Well, most of them, they each have their own rooms. Uh, there's one that I'm going to do where there's shared rooms, but I have not done that yet. And I don't know which world I'm going to do it yet. Um, uh, you have your room and then they all have like different jobs throughout the week. So like one person is, is in charge of laundry and one person is in charge of like, uh, grocery shopping and that kind of stuff. And, uh, they encourage all of the teens that are 
in that are still high school age or have not graduated high school to go to high school and then uh since you can stay till you're 21 if you decide if you decide to stay after you've graduated high school then they encourage you to get at least a part-time job so yeah that's that's what that's it yep that's great and uh it's basically I, I don't know where I was going with that. So yeah, if, if none of that makes sense or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below uh, because that's the best I got for you right now. So um, uh, right now I'm making the kitchen. I made a whole communal space. I really like this kitchen uh, a lot. It's pretty big, I will admit, but like I like big kitchens. So you can fight me if you'd literally like. There's one big open uh like community space which has a mixture of a kitchen eat, eating area and living area and it is yeah so i'm just going to i think i'm going to start going through all of the people i have them on notes in my phone i've made up like a little blurbs about all of them like uh it's it's all just like bullet point stuff so it's like their name their age like how many years they've been at the program or how many years they've like been in this thing and then what they got kicked out for which i'm gonna tell you right now uh i'm not going to say why they kicked out word for word for all of them because the way that i wrote this stuff is terrible and yeah so <laughs> let's just get on with it so the house manager for this one is someone who was in the program and now isn't uh his name is trevor uh it says so Hold up, before I continue with this, let me just make it clear, like, the order of, like, the bullet points. So, it goes their name, how many years they've been there, uh, uh, how old they are, uh, what, what, what they do for, like, their career. So, whether they're in school, college, they run the house, they have a job, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, a sentence about them and then why they kicked out. So, that is the order of what I'm saying if you get confused. So the house manager is Trevor. He has been here for seven years and he's 21. Uh, he runs the house. He has a full-time job because running the house is a full-time job. And he got kicked out. It literally says for religious reasons. I have literally no idea what that means. Maybe I thought it was a little like, oh, he doesn't, he, he was all like, I don't like this religion. I'm a be an atheist now. I don't, I have no idea what I was thinking for that one. So, uh, yeah, he was kicked out for religious reasons. Uh, you can decide what you want with that. So, yeah. Um, and then next is, oh, shoot. I wish I didn't give, uh, okay, let me see. If I pronounce this wrong, I'm very, uh, I'm very sorry. Kyla, uh, she's been here for three years, or they've been here for three years. They're 19. They are in their second year of college. Uh, they, their, like, jobby thing is that they vlog on YouTube. I don't know. I was like, I'd want, if there was on YouTube, like, a vlog of, like, this kind of house thing, and you just, like, like, daily vlogs or stuff like that, like, just, th like, I'd watch it. That sounds kind of interesting, just, like, seeing their lives, like, you know? Yeah, so, sh they do that, um, and they got kicked out for being, for identifying as, non-binary which is why their pronouns are they and i'm sorry about that beginning there i got confused because i didn't read all of it i just like because for me like kyla is a girl's name and they were a they like they are female like their sex is female like yeah so that's why i got confused and i'm sorry and i'm just gonna move on from that because nobody else is <laughs> reacting to it like i am right now the so next is garrett he's been here for five years he's this literally says, th this is a direct quote, it says, just turned 19. Uh, he has a part-time job. I imagine that he'd work at, like, a grocery store or something like that. I Originally, I was like, maybe he he works at, like, a, a hospital or something. And then I was like, no. Um, uh, he, he stays at home during the day, so his part-time job is in the afternoon. And he takes care of Ruby. You'll see who Ruby is uh, during the day. Uh, and then he got kicked out for using drugs. Uh, that's really it. So, yeah. I will also point out when each person's room is. This is not in order of rooms. I can tell you the order of rooms if you'd like. Actually, I'm going to 
I'll do that at the end. I'll tell you the order of rooms instead of pointing them all out because that's going to be a disaster. Next, we have Jamie, who's been there for two and a half years. Specific, but okay. Uh, she's 17. Uh, her, her little blurb... Uh, Oh, wait, this one's out of order. So she's a senior in high school. Her little, like, sentence is that she has a daughter and she got kicked out for getting pregnant. Um, And then, yeah, and next we'll just go on to her daughter. Uh, th It's not in that order on my phone because I have it in terms of age, but it's okay. I'm fine. So then Ruby is her daughter. She's two years old. Uh, And her little blurb is that everybody loves her. And that she brings joy wherever she goes. She uh, stays home most of the day. She doesn't go to, like, a daycare or anything. Because Jamie doesn't have a job. And can't, like, pay for a daycare service. So, yeah. It's, it's The Sims. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. That's, that's Jamie and Ruby. Next is Daniel. He's been here for one year. He's 16. He's a junior in high school. Really smart and loves school is his little blurb. Uh, he And then I also have an extra one that says he's more reserved for the other. He more keeps to himself, unlike everybody else who doesn't do that as much. So, yeah. And uh, he got kicked out because he was gay. So, yes. And then next, I mean last but not least, is Lucy. She's the newest member. She's been there for two months. She's 15. She's a freshman in high school, and she was kicked out for using drugs. So that's everybody in the house. Now I'll tell you the order in which their rooms are decorated. So first is Jamie and Ruby's room. Then it's Daniel's room. Then it's Garrett's room. Have I been saying all of their names? I think I have. Okay, then <laughs> let me start that over. So first is Jamie and Ruby's room. Then it's Daniel's room. Then it's Garrett's room. Then it's Lucy's room. Then it's Trevor's room. Then it's Kyla's room. And if you are lost, it's okay, because I was never found. So, yeah. So, um, something I did in the house, in all of the bedrooms, is I put the laundry basket really close to the door. And the reason I did that is because I was like, okay, if one person does the laundry, like, that's their job for, like, the week or whatever, then, like, you wouldn't want, like, someone to go into your room and have the opportunity to look around your stuff. So the point is, is that you can just, is that whoever's doing the laundry can just open your door, grab your laundry basket and close the door without like rummage, ha being able to like rummage around your stuff. That, I don't know if that would actually work, but that's just what I had in my mind. So we're going with it, okay? Okay, great. So there is only one bathroom, but it has two toilet stalls and three showers. So like, have fun with that. <laughs> I mean, you're not playing in this house. All of my other houses are going to have more bathrooms. Uh, the other one I did has five or six, but I think it has five bathrooms. And it has more, lo it also has, has two washers and two dryers. So, unlike this one. But this one, it's not going to, and this, I think this only has one sink. Maybe I did two sinks. I don't remember if I did one or two sinks. I am, I do not remember whatsoever but it's okay this apartment is kind of dark this apartment apartment bruh apartment is kind of big but oh well I guess I'm hungry I haven't eaten yet today and I should probably do that you know I'm really nervous I don't want to miss uh my 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 thing that I have to go to at 7 10 uh which would run way too late for me to upload this by the way but I also like I'm scared I'm not going to be able to upload this, like, because I totally forgot that I hadn't uploaded anything today, and I totally forgot that I wasn't going to have time because my thing is probably going to run till, like, 11 o'clock, maybe midnight. Like, it's going to run for a long time. So, yeah, uh, I might be having a nervous breakdown, so, <laughs> yay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I was about to talk about tomorrow's build, but, like, then what am I going to talk about tomorrow? So... Fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to the weekend. Oh, also something that I'm doing consistently throughout all of these houses is that I'm going to do where they all have the same bed frame, whether it's in the same color or a different color. In this one, I just did the same bed, and the frames can be a different color. In the next one that I'm in, my uh, one in Windenburg, uh, they all have the same bed frame. I use a Discover University bed, so there's only, like, three different bed sheet swatches. I did not do the same one for this. 
And I also give them all, like, the same furniture throughout because that would... That's realistic to something like this where there's already furniture. And so the point... So pretty much what I imagined for this is that, like, you come in and you have the basic furniture. You'll have, like, a dresser, a desk, a bed, a nightstand, and a lamp. That's what everybody comes in with. And, oh, and I, I, a desk chair. And so that's what everybody has, and that's consistent throughout all of them. And so you... Uh, you get your own stuff, and also they do something, uh, so you, like, buy your own stuff to decorate, but they also do something once a month, like, this is a thing throughout that, this is a thing throughout all of them that I didn't mention when I was describing all of them, uh, is that, like, once a month they do this, like, gift-giving thing, which is, I don't know, I think I incorporated it to, uh, like, promote a sense of community or some stupid thing like that, where, like, so, like, everybody has, like, a wish list of things, mostly things that they'd want to decorate their room with or things that they want, uh, but, like, not necessarily that I can't afford, but just are, like, kind of pointless, but, like, not, like, really expensive things like, I, like a flat screen TV, something like a rug or, like, a plant or, like, a lamp. And so once a month, like, they draw out, like, they, they pick people out of a hat and then they get them one of the things off their list and also and then things in between you can buy and they can wallpaper their room when like that's an op when they get there they have the like they get to pick out their wallpaper that's yeah so that's that and they all have the same curtains just in different colors as well so fun 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 so this is i i i don't know nah, actually I don't know if we're still on Ruby and Jamie's room, but Ruby and Jamie's room is the one with the toddler bed in it because there's a toddler in that one. And then right next to it, the next one I do is Daniel's room, then Garrett's room, and Lucy's room, then Trevor's room, then Kyla's room. I already said all of that. So yeah, I um for this one, I used uh, a mixture between parenthood and a um, yum, yum. I actually don't think I gave them all the same desk for this one. But in all the other ones, I do. So, yeah, this one, they don't all have the same desk. And, yes. Um, oh, no, wait, they do. But I guess they can switch out their desk? I don't I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. You can, of course, switch out any of your furniture. This is throughout all of them. Like, they give you furniture, but, like, if you're all, like, actually, I want this dresser, like, go ahead, get 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 that. I just said get that fire exit door. I've been watching too much Plumbella. I love Plumbella. She's great. If you've never watched Plumbella, watch it because uh, I am Plumbella and Plumbella is great. Lit. Fun. Okay, what was I saying? I literally don't remember what I was saying anymore, but that's great. Uh, I think I was talking about how, like, for this one, the furniture scheme was cats and dog, a mixture of cats and dogs and parenthood, uh, which I... I are not going to be for all of them. All of them have different styles and stuff like that. Oh, there's still so much time left in this video, and I'm running out of things. But honestly, this has been one of my best audios so far. Maybe I should always do them while on 84 pounds of stress. I, I don't know. That's probably not very good for my health, though. Yeah. Um, yes, this is a lot. Uh, this, this, this one is decorated a lot better than my... Then my next one is, uh, my Windenburg one kind of looks like trash, but like, oof, it, it's just, it, it, it's really, really basic and I sort of am not okay with it, but I'm not going to change it. So, oh well. So what's going on with you? I am losing my marbles, not related to like quarantine or anything like that. I been losing my marbles for years now. Ooh, let's talk about ego lifestyle a little bit. I did a little bit in yesterday's vid video. Maybe it was sun Saturday's video. I don't know. I'm lo losing all sense of reality at this point. So let's talk about ego lifestyle. So I've uh, watched, uh, I watched James Turner's going through like the, the build by objects like three times now. And I am so excited. A lot of that stuff is really great. The plants are really nice. I'm so, so happy there is a toddler bed. I think I've said it every single video since I found out there was a toddler bed, but I've been begging for more toddler beds since my channel has begun. Like, the toddler bed situation 
before you go lifestyle. Like there, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, like th I love that there's a toddler bed version of like that kids' room one with the, with the, with with the with with the, with, with the green and blue bed. Like I love that because it matches everything and it has a complete set. Like that's great, but like it only has it only has a certain amount of colors and you can only do it a, so many times before you're like I quit. And then there's that other one. Uh, it has like a wooden frame and like it has more like normal looking swatches, but like and like it's great except for that the swatches don't look like they'd be toddler bed swatches. Like they're more normal than the regular like the, the double bed swatches and I'm like bruh and then there's the other two and oh uh, they the race car one I hate it I hate it so much I don't like using it there's no plain one I mean they're uh, they're all like disgusting colors they don't match anything whatsoever and I hate it I hate it I don't want a car bed and if it do just put it in solid like reds blues yellows like that's great but like they don't have that like Oh, and then there's that other one, the other one, where it's all like, let's put three different random neon colors on. Like, let's have a orange, yellow, and neon blue. Like, bruh, bruh. Like, it's it's disgusting. All the swatches are terrible. It doesn't go with a sing single other thing that toddlers, like, for toddler room whatsoever. Nothing matches. They don't have... Nothing matches. It's terrible. I hate it. I hate the toddler beds. I hate them. I'm sick of them. I need a new toddler bed. Oh, I also really like the toddler bed. I'm upset that there's only one. And I'm. I. 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 It, I understand that why all of them are like the same swatches as everything else, and those swatches are neutral because not everybody wants really colorful stuff. But I personally love really really colorful toddler rooms because like it, it's just like toddler you know yeah that didn't make any sense but like like i the swatches are nice let, let me tell you the swatches are nice but i'm upset that there's not a really really like so, uh, like at least one really really colorful one or something or like another toddler bed that's more colorful because I, I the the problem is for me mostly the colors like the shapes of the beds that we have minus the car one car one still like Maybe once, maybe twice, but, like, I'm not using the car in every single one. Like, the car works in very specific ones that we cannot decorate for, let me tell you. Okay. Sarah, you need to let it go. Okay. Like I was saying, the problem is not the shape of the bed. The shape of the beds are, are fine. Like, I have no problem with them. It's it's the swatches that I have a problem with. Like, the one that, that goes with that basic kids one, the, the, the green and blue one... Yeah, like, it's, it, that one, it, it, it's fine, but the thing is that it only comes with, like, I think it only comes with five or six different color swatches, and, like, it, it doesn't come with enough, and then the other one, uh, that comes with, like, a bunch, they're all just, a lot of them are really ugly, and I'd never use them in a toddler's room, and, like, yeah, so let's stop talking about toddler beds, because I have other things that I want to talk about. I would like to talk about that, like, it's it's a decoration object, which, by the way, I love that there's decoration. I'm upset that there's no paintings, though. I was really looking forward to seeing some paintings in those styles, but they only have, like, floor painting uh, decoration things. They don't have any actual, like, on-the-wall paintings. And I'm like, really, 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 again? Like, th I, there weren't any besides the ones in Debug that came with uh, Island Living either. And then there were only, like, posters and stuff that came with Discover University. I really want more paintings, let me just tell you. But, like, okay, that's beside the point. So, there's a lot of great decorations, and I'm really excited. But the one that sticks out to me the most is there's a tray. And it has, like, two bottles, which they look like wine bottles. But I, they're, they're not obviously not supposed to be wine bottles. And I think there's two or three, like, glass cups. And I love it. I saw that and I was all like, oh my gosh, this is going to be my new most used item. Like, I'm so excited to use it. I've been waiting for something like that. I used to have a piece of custom content like that. I don't know if it was on this channel ever or not. I don't think it was. But I used it in, like, every build I used to make. Uh, I loved, I love those things. I love it. I'm so excited for it. I saw it and I was like, yes, yes. Like, I was more excited than the toddler bed. Like, the toddler bed was great and everything, but I saw that, and I was like, yes, yes! And we also got more, like, laundry day 
esque uh things like there's there's a bucket and it has like blankets in it there's one that has like a coat rack then there's one that's like a like a whole like bookshelfy type like shelfy type thing that has a bunch of things on it it's like pillows and blankets but it reminds me a lot of the things that came with laundry day which i love like cross pack compatibility as plumbella always says like we love it yes 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 I'm very excited. There's also a lot of plants, which is great because we all need more plants. A lot of things that are going to be great for, like, modern houses, which is awesome. Uh, a lot of beds. Uh, a lot of beds. They're all a little weird. I don't like the blanket on it. The only problem I have with the bed is, like, the blanket, the way the blanket looks. I don't like that. It makes me want to straighten it out. Uh, it triggers my OCD. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, it, it does. So yeah woo let's go what else do i remember uh the the crate not crate what are they called cargo cargo what are they called a crate i'm calling it a crate if it's not called a crate oh well uh the crates that's cool i never i didn't know i needed it but now i do and i'm excited to make crate tiny house house houses and ladders are great. Ladders are cool. I'm so excited for the free placing doors and windows. You have no idea how excited I am for that. What else is in this pack? Thinking is hard. Uh, there's no new kitchen stuff whatsoever. And I'm honestly disappointed. I am so disappointed. Because now that we've gotten toddler beds... I'm go all the things that I'm going to be begging for and you're going to hear me nonstop talk about are bunk beds, but I'm going to do that less because everybody else is doing that and more kitchen stuff like oh, my fate. One, one of my favorite counters ever is the one from vampires. I love it, but there's three swatches like like please like even giving us more swatches like please give us more counters and eat not only that but like fridges sinks microwaves i don't think we've gotten a single microwave they're all the base game ones like i think we've even gotten a coffee maker or two but like we we still just have those base game microwaves and like kitchens are very very important so please with the more kitchen stuff that would be great <laughs> kind of disappointed that we didn't get any of that but we did get some kids objects and that's great it's all the same stuff. It's nothing new. It's just another art table and another dollhouse. Though I am excited about the another dollhouse. I don't think we've gotten any other dollhouses. The only dollhouse, extra dollhouse we've gotten, I think. No, we, there was one in toddler stuff, but I don't have toddler stuff, which is why I didn't think of it. But, like, we also got one in the toddler update, but I always forget that that happened because I'm kind of dumb. But we been new, sis. Let's just go home and cry that would be nice honestly i'm still surprised that i've been talking this long okay so i've been watching a bunch of uh youtube videos of like people like reviewing movies and reacting to movies and i've said it before i said it a couple videos ago that i really want to have a channel where i do that i want to have my goal is to have three channels a cooking channel this channel obviously and then a. Uh, a movie react reaction review channel and uh i really really want to do it i have a bunch of movies laid out and i've been watching a bunch of them and i want to do it so desperately i'm looking into a camera i have all my i have a bunch of money saved to get a camera and i'm so excited i have no idea how to execute it so i also need to look into that because i still don't know how to put face cam at all in a video so yeah but i was watching i've been watching a bunch of them and it makes me want to do it so so bad like so so bad and i'm so excited hopefully i definitely know that i my goal is to have at least one video out before the end of the summer so before like september 1st i want to have my first or at least one movie review video out and hopefully do some cooking as well so yeah i'm i'm really wanting to watch that so i've been like practicing reviewing stuff like that that is literally the kind of person I am so I'm getting better at like consistently talking and like reacting to things and commenting on things and hopefully that will improve my ability to um record these videos because so far this is like the best audio I've ever done I'm gonna be honest and that's kind of surprising because this is a long video like for real ew what was that go home Sarah like leave I, I 
watch me be all like complimenting myself now, but then next video I'm gonna be like, um, 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 I'm a terrible YouTuber, um, 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 help me. That's literally me every other video, but this one, have I stopped talking at all? Have I been talking too much? Yes, we already knew that, Sarah. I talk too much and too loud. I'm sorry, uh, Good night. I'm going to sleep now. That is a lie. It is 6.51. This is not over yet. You might be getting this video at 1 a.m. Uh, oof. I am so, so scared. <laughs> because I also wanted to quickly grab myself food before the thing started. But it's 6.51 and it starts at 7.10. And food is all the way downstairs. I am going to have an actual panic attack. And the worst part about it is I already saw my therapist today, <laughs> earlier today, and my computer just shut off. That was great because I hadn't been, hadn't, haven't been moving my mouse around. Is this video over yet? No. Has my anxiety been rising? Yes. Very, very much yes. Okay. Huh. How are you doing? Better than I am right now? That's probably not very hard. So yeah, I think I'm just doing finishing details and we should be getting into uh this Greenshot soon. Sorry, I heard Jessica talking and I was confused for a second. Yeah, we should be getting into the screenshot soon. So I'm just gonna wrap it up and I honestly think I'm just gonna start playing music early. So, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video because I know I did. My stress level is through the roof at this point. Like, oof. Uh, <laughs> I hope you all have had, are having a good week and continue to have a good week. It's almost midway through the week. Tomorrow is the midway point, guys. We're almost done. <laughs> no, we're not, but like, ooh. Uh, I, to, tomorrow video, I'm really excited for. It's uh, I my renovation of the Bailey Moon Mansion, which is a long video, and I'm still not done with it yet, and now my stress has been increasing even more. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all will stay tuned for tomorrow and let me know what you think of my weird idea with this whole abandoned teen house programmy thing and i just just goodbye uh i'm i'm leaving goodbye <laughs>